So, in this fifteenth lecture, we will see microwave attenuators. Now, attenuation you know, attenuation if I have any device, any device has some loss. So, that is called insertion loss, attenuation insertion loss, they are similar or same term. So, A is given by the ratio of P 1 and P 2, where P 1 is power absorbed by the load without the given component. Suppose, something I uh, that device I am not putting in the network. So, there is the power absorbed by the load, load is taking power. Now, I put that um, device, still there will be some other power. So, if I make that and make the ratio P 1 P 2 that is called attenuation. So, obviously, here we will have to assume that source and load and all other components their impedance match. So, that in mismatch there is no power is getting lost. So, in that case this will be the definition of attenuation. Now, attenuator is passive elements those are used to control the amount of microwave power transferred from one point to another on a microwave transmission line. So, either you have two options either you whatever power is coming if you want to attenuate either you reflect the energy or you consume the energy that is absorb the energy in some dissipative elements. So, generally this absorption is done. Now, there are attenuators which are available in microbe region they are either fixed or variable fixed means always that device will be able to give a fixed attenuation. Um, variable is you can change how many dB of attenuation you want, you can change that. Now, many times you see that suppose I have a uh, signal source, uh, in the lab we face this suppose you have a signal source, that signal source give you um, let us say 20 volt thing, but you want to see that signal that time you will need to connect it to the oscilloscope. Oscilloscopes are they cannot handle 20 volt signal. So, you need to have an attenuator in between, so that your signal will come to 5 volt or something of every oscilloscope has a specification what is its maximum voltage it can handle. So, attenuator is a must there. Then as I was saying that uh, you see your if you have a directional coupler then no problem that always in the coupled port you can measure, but even in a radar suppose the directional coupler even after coupling of 10 dB 20 dB the power may be substantial and if you want to see that power or see the signal waveform in the oscilloscope or any spectrum analyzer the problem is that power may be too high for them. So, you need to put an attenuator there etcetera. So, fixed or variable then no no not well matched it is a type of well matched reciprocal device generally this this is made of reciprocal devices uh, and so there is no directivity both ways it should be able to match well matched the two ends it should be matched. So, that due to it does not any mismatch should not take place and attenuation is a function of frequency, because in a high frequency things the way we attenuate they change we if we change the frequency of the signal. So, fixed type attenuator let us first see it is a dissipative element is this pad tapered pad actually tapering we do. So, that the mismatch is not seen gradually we change the impedance and if we give a resistive pad a pad metallic pad uh, then it will reflect as you know that in metal absorbs the um, fields up to the skin depth. So, pad is placed with its plane parallel to E field in a um, 
in a um, web guide we know what is the e field the pad is also placed with its e field parallel to it and it is held with two metal rods at the length of lambda by g by 4 hmm. so that that means um, we know that the magnetic field it is varying in lambda g by 2 so half of that variation if we can um, put the pad that is okay pad also positioned at the maximum e field maximum e field we know in a rectangular wave guide it is like this at the center at the center you have the uh, rectangular wave guide thing so that pad is also placed at the center e field tangential to the field get absorbed in the pad whatever tangential field is there in the field because on a metal the tangential field is falling that is getting absorbed in the skin depth in the depth direction this fixed type of attenuator now this is fixed coaxial attenuator this is uh, a distributed type attenuator you see this is so these are coaxial versions now variable attenuators what they do they can by changing the position occupied by pad because pad suppose if it is moved from narrow wall this is a you see this is the narrow wall of the web guide to the axis if we change the position what happens actually the uh, you know the from the narrow wall to the uh, center or the axis the magnetic field etcetera changes the value of the electric field changes so the electric field at the um, narrow wall it is minimum or zero and at the maximum it is center so if i change the pad position from narrow wall to the center of the guide we are changing basically the attenuation level changes also sometimes the pad uh, this dissipative pad its area we can change how we can use it as a flap so one portion is going inside now how many portions you are taking out by that you are changing the pad area and this is an example of a that flip attenuator flap so it can change that how much area you are going inside and that determines how much attenuation you can take and precision attenuator so it's a it made of five parts what happens suppose you have a rectangular wave guide now what you do you convert to circular wave guide this is a basically a mode converter i uh, sorry um, uh, the uh, wave guide adapter so rectangular guide to circular if you make now circular wave guide has this t10 mode in a circular wave guide it will generate t11 mode t11 mode has got both polarizations one is tangential to t10 another is perpendicular to that that polarizations now you put the resistive pad so the one which polarization you want to suppress depending on that you put it there and then again whatever you have done here you do opposite that here the parallel to the resistive pad it was placed here also same and then this back to again t10 guide so what happens that the whatever was the electric field that electric field after you change it to the circular one you get a e the sin theta type of variation so it's a it is rotated by sin theta and then with that angle that component which is tangential that will be destroyed or uh, attenuated so basically we by changing this theta you can change what is the attenuation level and this is the um, block system so circular t11 has two orthogonal polarization pad cuts of one so by knowing the theta how much you are varying 
you can change the attenuation level, because if you vary theta, basically you are varying sin theta and you know that this mapping is quite good. So, by that you can find out how much attenuation you are changing the level. So, this is the um, diagram of a thing and also attenuation depends only on q. So, precisely calibrated by nonlinear scale. Now, in case of if you have low power no problem, but you have high power and if you give it to the attenuators, then that pad that is taking that power. So, it gets heated up. So, high heat production in pads at high power. So, then you need to have a uh, air or water circulation around the pad, so that that uh, power can be taken away. Then these are our laboratory attenuator. You see this is a coaxial fixed attenuator, there is a resistive pad inside that taking coaxial variable attenuator. These are for vary varying this attenuation, because sometimes we need to vary the attenuation level. Uh, to see whether we are getting the best of the signal and this is web guide version of that. This is uh, I think in my microwave laboratories generally whenever you connect any network analyzer or spectrum analyzer generally with some signal. So, generally we first put an attenuator make it quite high attenuation or highest attenuation do the circuit. because if no signal goes, you may not get the signal, but nothing in the path will get destroyed. But if you do not put any attenuation and if a high signal goes to the devices which cannot handle that, then that device will go wrong, device or equipment will go wrong. So, always we that is why put maximum level first, then you go on decreasing the level and see at some point you will see that signal has started coming, etcetera. Now, there is also another um, attenuation thing that is match load, because many times we want that when a signal is going even if there is a I mean if um, there should not be any reflected signal. So, what happens if the incident signal you totally absorb then it cannot reflect back. So, that is done by the match load, what match load does it has uh, this pad but that is tapered, tapered because so that gradually its impedance changes. A wave traveling has a particular wave impedance. Now, with the T 1 0 mode wave impedance this is designed yesterday we have seen at some frequent uh, yesterday in that uh, day we in web guide when we discussed some 500 ohm was the impedance at 10 gigahertz probably of a T 1 0 mode. So, 500 ohm if you make then gradually you make it larger and uh, so that here because you will have to have area you will have to increase and but 500 ohm if you want to match it will be very small um, its length uh, thickness. So, th that you do then wave will start coming here then you show your actual result it is really like inviting guests that okay, okay I am with you, but after that killing him. So, you are taking the full power from him this is called match load. If you open any match load actually this is from this side there is a screw by which you can take it and see this is uh, dissipative load. It is made of aqua dag is some material uh, they give some coated thing lossy sand coating. So, that uh, thing it is a match load always remember that it does not have any reflection means its reflection coefficient is 0. So, that is what I said 0 base w r 1 and this length of tapered pad is generally twice of guided wavelength. So, that you give sufficient line tapering is for impedance matching as I am saying that we initially is inviting okay, wave comes then you start giving that attenuation and he comes here seeing that good impedance matching with me then gradually it goes on killing it. 
So, that is all about microwave attenuators.